our next step is step 5 shear force and bending moment here we need to draw the staircase plan here there are steps 11 10 9 8 7 2 1 so we need to draw 11 threads because we have number we, because we have got number of threads in each thread is equal to 11 number therefore we have 11 numbers of threads so now what is the size of this plan 2.4 meter into 4.75 this will be 4.75 meter this is 2.4 4 meter this is the inner to inner dimension 2.4 meter into 4.75 meter 2.4 meter into 4.75 meter so now so what is this total length of two, uh, threads here you have 11 number of threads into size of the thread is 0.25 that will be 2.25 75 meter up to this one okay total we have 4.75 in that 2.75 meter is for steps here we will assume 1 meter for landing 2.75 plus 1 is 3.75 total is 4.75 therefore 1 meter remaining so we will be 1 meter for approach okay here we have wall thickness 0.3 here also we have point, point 0.3 wall thickness according to this data we need to draw a beam so now beam will be from center of this wall to center of this wall like this if you assume this is a point A and this is the point B up from the here to here we have once UDL that is a load we have factor load 14.62 kN per meter square on steps on steps that is 14.62 kN per meter square so on landing you have low UDL so the low load on both the side that is load on landing load on landing that is 10.875 that will be in the form of like this so now what is the distance of this one this one is uh, this total UDL distance is 2.75 meter up to this one so this landing is 1 meter plus half of the wall is 0.3 divided by 2 is 0.15 so 1.15 here also 1 meter plus half of the wall is 0.3 by 2 is 1.15 therefore 1 plus 0.15 is 1.15 okay here is the RA reaction and here we have RB now we need to find out what is the shear force and what is the bending moment shear force is maximum at support and bending moment is maximum when the shear force is zero okay so now we need to find out what is the maximum shear force and what is the maximum bending moment for that one we need to find what is the reaction at RA and B what is the reaction set A and B point summation V is equal to 0 is nothing but algebraic sum of all the vertical forces is equal to 0 now what are the vertical forces do we have RA this load this load and this load and RB ok so now we will equate so RA is upper positive plus RA next downward this load is acting downward therefore minus 
10.875 up to the length of 1.15 next again this load is acting downward minus 14.62 into 2.75 again this load is acting downward minus 10.875 into up to the length of 1.15 next rb is acting upward therefore positive rb this will be equal to 0 now simplify this one you will get ra plus rb is equal to 65.22 call this equation as equation number 1 next we need to find out what is ra and rb for this thing we need to take moment moment on any side a yeah, rb i will take summation m a is equal to 0 this means algebraic sum of all the moments about the point a is 0 okay so now ra becomes 0 because it is acting at the point a only therefore ra becomes 0 next is 10.875 it is acting clockwise therefore positive 10.875 into 1.15 into 10.875 into 1.15 into half of this two point a that is 1.15 divided by 2 next is again this this load 14.62 load this also acting clockwise therefore positive 14.62 into up to a length of 2.75 2.75 plus half of this load to point a therefore 1.15 plus 2.75 divided by 2 right 1.15 plus 2.75 divided by 2 so this is a next one this landing load again this one is also acting clockwise positive 10.875 into 1.15 into half of this one to the point a the length is total length is 1.15 plus 2.75 plus 1.15 divided by 2 1.15 plus 2.75 plus 1.15 divided by 2 next minus because this rb is acting anti-clockwise direction minus rb into total distance 1.15 plus 2.75 plus 1.15 is equal to 0 solve this one you will get rb is equal to 32.6 So substitute this one in equation number 1 you will get value of RA therefore RA is also you will get 32.6 kilo Newton you will get RA is equal to 32.6 kilo Newton when you substitute RB value in this equation and you will get the RA value that is this one okay therefore maximum shear force is equal to so maximum shear force is shear force is maximum at the supports so now you need to find out which support has maximum force in this case we have same force therefore this one this thing only have maximum force that is 32.6 kN now we have got the shear force value now we need to find out what is the bending moment that is maximum bending moment we know that maximum bending moment occurs when the shear force becomes zero so shear force is maximum at point a and point b so somewhere here we have shear zero shear force therefore at that point bending moment will be maximum now we need to find out where the shear force is zero for that one we will consider one section x x from x distance from the point a now shear force is equal to 
0 at xx point okay shear force at xx will be equal to 0 that is nothing but maximum bending moment so how to find shear force at xx is equal to 0 so what is the shear force at xx point so shear force at xx now this is the line xx here the shear force will be 0 that means maximum bending moment okay so what is the shear force here are a so upward plus 32.6 minus 10.875 into 1.15 total distance next minus this load is 14.62 up to this much only so this length we don't know but we have total length is x minus 1.15 give this load therefore 14.62 into x minus 1.15 will give this distance that will be equal to 0 so when you solve this one you will get x is equal to 2.54 meter that means at a distance of x is equal to 2.54 meter we have shear force 0 and at that point we have maximum bending moment now we need to find out bending moment at this xx point is what that will be the maximum bending moment next step is bending moment at xx is equal to bending moment at xx is equal to moment means load into distance perpendicular distance for this one re 32.6 into total distance is 2.54 meter so 32.6 into 2.54 minus 10 point this one 10.875 into total distance is 1.15 into from center of this one to the this point 10.875 up to a distance of 1.15 into middle of this one to this one is how much we will get total is 2.54 minus 1.15 by 2 means we will get this distance therefore 2.54 minus 1.15 divided by 2 will give the distance of from center of this one to this point total is 2.54 minus 1.15 divided by 2 means we will get this distance next minus now this load this load is 14.62 14.62 into up to a distance of this distance is nothing but x minus 2.54 minus 1.1 1.15 that is nothing but 1.39 2.54 1 minus 1.15 1.39 therefore this total distance is 1.39 14.62 into 1.39 and center of this one to this point is into 1.39 divided by 2 okay so when you solve this one you will get bending moment at xx is maximum that will be 44.10 kilo newton meter now you have a maximum shear force 32.6 kilo newton next bending moment maximum mu 44.10 kilo newton meter our next is step 6 check for depth here we need to find out whether our given depth is right or wrong for that one we have formula mu limit is equal to 0.138 b d square f c k this is the formula for m20 and f e 4 on 5 steel if for m20 concrete and f e 4 on 5 steel so here we need to find what is the d required is equal to square root of mu limit divided by 0.138 p into sck now substitute the values mu is nothing but this value mu limit is nothing but this value only 44.10 into these things b and fck are this thing b fck all are in mm therefore we need to convert this thing also in mm therefore we have kilo means 10 power 3 meter to mm is 10 power 3 10 power 3 10 power 3 10 power 6 divided by 0.138 into b is always 1000 1 meter but here 1000 mm into fck is 20 newton per mm square now when you solve this one you will get d required is equal to 126.4 mm we provided 130 mm therefore we got 126.4 mm 
d required that means d required is 126 mm now we have provided more than this that is 130 mm therefore d provided is maximum compared to d required therefore safe